Listen up guys as we give you your weekly dose of Atenean school spirit only here on Go Ateneo TV. The Blue and Lady Shuttlers saw action last week as UAAP Season 72's badminton competition opened at the Rizal Memorial Complex. The Lady Shuttlers struggled in their matchup against La Salle and FEU. Errors and fatigue saw their rookie-laden Katipunan squad drop their first four matches against a tougher La Salle team last Saturday. Ateneo seized the final singles match to prevent a DLSU sweep, ultimately dropping 1-4. A more energized Lady Shuttler squad showed up the next day to duel against FEU. Resilience and determination helped Ateneo stretch almost all their matches to three games, but the ladies in blue, powered by sophomore Monica Yupanko, still came up short. FEU outplayed Ateneo 3-2. Meanwhile, the Blue Shuttlers triumphed over DLSU and NU during the opening weekend. An early win from rookie Antonio Gadi and an intense tiebreaker won by team captain Rafael Sanchez put Ateneo on top of La Salle 3-2. The Blue Shuttlers piled up the points and swept NU last August 16. Oozing with confidence from their victory against La Salle, the Shuttlers smashed their way to a 5-0 victory and grabbed a vital 2-0 win-loss record. The badminton teams are set to play on August 23, Sunday, at the Rizal Memorial Complex. The Lady Shuttlers are looking to gain a win against Adamson University at 11 a.m., while the Blue Shuttlers will go up against UE at 8. In basketball, the Lady Eagles started the second round playing against a struggling UE Amazon team last August 16. The ladies held a 13-point advantage in the opening quarter and continued to push further away from their opponents. With their offensive and defensive intensity, the Lady Eagles limited UE to a dismal 20% field goal shooting percentage. Rookies Jennifer Di Maano and Janelle Long played quality minutes to help give the Lady Eagles a much-needed win. Sara Mercado tallied 9 points while Long had the 13-point 21 rebound game to lead the Lady Eagles to a 30 point win, 68 to 38. The Lady Eagles' next games are against FEU on August 19, Wednesday at 10:45 a.m., and NU on August 22, Saturday at 9 a.m. Both games will be at the FEU gym. Meanwhile, the Blue Eagles started their second round campaign with games against the UE Red Warriors and the De La Salle Green Archers. Fresh from their first round battles, the Blue Eagles faced UE last August 13. Reigning MVP Raba Al Husseini started the scoring spree against the fiery Red Warriors squad. Co captain Jai Reyes and sophomore Nico Salva helped the Blue Eagles outscore their opponents 29 to 9 in the second period. The Eagles played better defense in the second half to stay on top. But UE made a tremendous comeback with three pointers and crucial stops to cut the lead down to four with less than a minute to play. The defending champions overcame fatigue and made crucial free throws down the stretch. Al Husseini had a massive 30 point performance while a scorching Salva contributed 12. After just one week, the Blue Eagles renewed its rivalry against DLSU last August 16. The defending champs came in steaming from the opening tip, outscoring their opponents 8-0 in the first four minutes of the game. Led by Al Husseini, the Eagles continued flawless shooting in the second with Salamat and Salva stepping up. Al Husseini had another MVP performance, posting 26 points and 3 blocks. Ateneo forced LaSalle to rely on their outside shooting and their less experienced players as their veterans dried up against the Eagles. Al Husseini's front court dominance cut a DLSU rally short. The high flying Eagles sealed the deal 81 to 65. No let up. Yeah, we finally played basketball the way that we wanted to play basketball the entire season. Uh, we got off to a good start defensively, and we were able to get out and run tonight, which is something we've been struggling with the entire, the entire year. Um, we did a good job breaking their press, which I thought was very important. It led to a lot of easy baskets for us. So today was probably the best game we've played the entire UAT season. 
Next up for the Blue Eagles are the University of Santo Tomas Growling Tigers on August 23, Sunday at the Araneta Coliseum at 2 p.m. For more updates on your Ateneo teams, visit GoAteneo.com. And this has been Portia Silva. Catch us again next time only here on GoAteneo TV. See you at the games.